Welcome to this walkthrough of Struckcock Legacy, formerly known as Struckcock 10. This walkthrough will take you through the new interface. The calculation engine is ASD design only. For the thousands of users who have been using this product for years, you will be excited to know that the 2021 International Building Code, which references the 2018 National Design Specification and the newest ACI code, ACI 318-19, have all been added. The user interface received a fresh new look and upgrade to more closely match the rest of our product line, so you will notice matching toolbars at both the top and bottom of the program. The left-hand side menu has been upgraded visually to the latest programming tools, however the functionality remains the same as in Struckcock versions 8 through 10. The legacy design modules are all still available in the program. Isolated and continuous footings, uniformly loaded floor beam, roof beam, combination roof and floor beam, multi-loaded multi-span beam, multi-span floor beam, multi-span roof beam, multi-span combination roof and floor beam, floor joist, roof rafter, column, hip valley beam, collar tie, wall, and framing. For example, I have a floor beam open. Much like Struckcop Plus and Pro, the properties are on the left-hand side of the screen and the adequacy on the bottom. After setting your properties, load your design by entering tributary widths. It is important to remember that Struckcock Legacy only has live and dead loads. Load tracking is still available. Anywhere in the program that the plus sign appears, it allows you to link loads. On the menu bar, you can use the auto size function to quickly check your design. View the loading diagram. VMD diagrams. Stress values. And your final check would be to open the print preview and review the calculated values. All the modules in Struckcock Legacy function in the same way. Thank you for watching this walkthrough of Struckcock Legacy, and we hope to get many more years of use out of this program.